Hi everyone, Bobby here. Um, I am finally posting again, but I know no one cares and because no one watches my videos anyway. Um, I really don't have any subscribers, which is fine. Um, but I do want to get into this. I really want to get into making YouTube videos um, about reselling, primarily haul videos, because they're my favorite thing to watch. Um, I love seeing what other people find in their area. I love seeing what people get in their um, like pallets and, and like rescue boxes and things like that. Um, but a little bit about me, which I have said in my other videos, but I like getting update, giving updates. Um, my name is Bobby. Um, my online presence is Finds by Bobby on Mercari, Poshmark, and eBay. Um, my primarial, primarial, my primary um, one is eBay. I think that's where I make the most money, followed by Poshmark and Mercari. Um, Mercari to me is just, it's the worst of the three. Um, and I literally only do it because I do have a sale there every now and then. Um, I'm, anyway, I do like to ramble, so I apologize in advance. Um, I loved reselling. I got into it about two years ago. Um, seriously, I lost my job at the height of COVID and I was home bored a lot and I don't like to sit still. So I watch videos and I realized that I need to fill my time with something. So I started gradually posting things online that were my own things, um, or my partner's items. And I started making a little bit of money. So then once things started opening up, um, I realized that I had a Goodwill outlet by my house. So I took 20 bucks and I went there and bought a bunch of stuff. And then that's where it started. And um, yeah, it's becoming, a, it's becoming bigger and bigger and bigger all the time. I'm trying to really make this a substantial way of me making money. I do work full time. I do work here in Maryland for a large university. Um, which I love. I love my job. I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna quit a full-time job to do this full-time. That, that is never gonna happen for me. I actually, I enjoy working. It keeps me busy. Um, I like the people I work with. I love my company. They treat us very well. And I like having medical benefits <laughs> where I don't have to pay a lot of money for them. Um, I also do work part-time throughout the year, especially in the fall time here in the state of Maryland at a local haunted house, a haunted attraction, attraction called the Legends of the Fog. Um, uh, as you can see here on my hat, I am a, I am an actor as well as the, one of the head managers of one of the attractions there. So if you're in the area, come check us out if you've never been. Um, a lot of changes are happening this year. Anyway, um, as I said, I like to ramble, so I apologize. Um, back to reselling. So I got into reselling after watching, um, the biggest ones that I like to, biggest people that I like to watch are probably, hold on, I have a little list over here. Hustle at Home Mom, um, Thrift Life, um, Dad Planet, Rebecca Allison, and Kaylee Elaine. They're probably the ones that I watch the most and I watch all of their videos. I've learned so much from these people that I, oh, did I say common tags? Did I say, I don't remember if I said comment tags, but she's another one. But my favorite is probably Kaylee Elaine. Like I really learned a lot from her and she started doing these just unfiltered, unedited haul videos. And they're my favorite. I love it. I learned so much. So I feel like that's what I'm primarily going to do. Cause I honestly, I may be a millennial. I'm like probably the unmillennial millennial of all. Like, I don't know how to use technology. I don't want to take the time to learn how to make videos and edit them, make them pretty and that music and, and all this crap. So, um, I'm sorry, I'm getting Poshmark notifications <laughs> on my phone as I'm talking to you. Um, so anyway, here's my haul. This is from, um, uh, this is from a store in my area called Second Avenue here in the state of Maryland. I think there's, I think it's a small chain, but it's owned by Savers. Um, and now that Savers owns them, I'm starting to notice a lot of changes in them. And I really hope that they don't raise their prices like Savers is. I can't stand Savers. I don't go there. I, 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 I used to shop there for personal, like for personal use, but it's expensive. They really upmark their things really high. Um, so I found this Second Avenue and I really enjoy it. Um, I always find things there and I always find things that I can resell. Um, so let's see, and I always put my things in women's 
men's and if I buy kids I do that um I do buy kids clothes sometimes and primarily from the bins because I'll just take it to once upon a child and make some money on it really quick and that's tax-free money so that's great um let's see so let's talk about women's I think this is women's I really don't know it was in the men's section but it's a large and it doesn't look large enough to be for a male so this is a polar ruffler wren full zip hooded jacket with the big um I guess uh, the embroidered horse and I'm sorry about the light I'm sitting right by my window and I don't have any other lights on because I I like the natural sunlight so I'm sorry if everything anything looks distorted oh I didn't show you guys the tag did I so it's a large full of rough Lorraine um I thought it was cute um and I don't remember how much I paid for everything so I don't have that the back so I apologize for that um I know some people like to know that but um oh and all of this should be listed in the next couple weeks I do take a long time to list because this is not my primary way of making money um I do this around my full-time job so if you look at if you find something that you like and you want to go onto my um e eBay or Poshmark or Mercari it's fine by Bobby Things will be listed eventually, so just please give me time. Um, I do have this. This is a uh, Spanx. Um, these are new with tags. These are a small. Um, I know I paid up for these. I paid over ten dollars for these because um, I recently I've never found Spanx before, and I found some a couple weeks ago, um, and they sold like in a week. So and then and they weren't new with tags, and I sold them for twenty dollars. So I feel like if these are new attacks, I could probably sell these for more than that. And these are, these probably came from another, these came from another resale store. Um, they're the faux leather crocodile pebbled gray leggings in a small. Um, they're in excellent condition, brand new. Um, so we'll see what I can get for that. This store was selling them for $110. Like, what? I don't think that's worth $110. But anyway... Um, and let me also back this up with, I've said this in other videos, but no one watches them. Um, I will buy something if I can make $10 on it. I am a volume. I try to be a seller that only buys things that sell within 90 days. Because if you see behind me, I have this and another one and that's it. That is literally the only space I have to store my goods is in this office. My, my partner says I can, he loves that I do this. He encourages me to do this, but he does not want this taking over the entire house. So I'm limited to this office, which is also my work at home office. So, um, I only buy things that have at least, uh, I try to stick with at least a 70 to 80% sales through rate. Um, but on the flip side, I also don't mind if it's a hundred percent sell through rate and I'm only going to make $10 on it. Um, because to me, that's a profit because when I do go to the off, I go to the office twice a week. Um, I can take all of my, um, USPS packages there and send them off for, for, like, I just drop them off there. Um, and luckily I also live really super close to a post office and really super close to a CVS with UPS and really super close to a Walgreens with FedEx. So I'm not spending barely any gas and mileage or anything to actually take stuff places. Um, so for me to sell something for to actually make a profit of 10 to 15 dollars to me is worth it so i know there's a lot of sellers out there that are not like that but i am one of the ones that's like that all right next piece is a bell by kim grab gravel gravel um it's a really pretty um sh kind of sheer i guess it's like a tunic tunic top in a size extra large um i've bought this I can tell you I bought this brand twice in the past four months and both items sold within two weeks so yay um next piece is a garnet hill in a size six but it's a sheer I don't know if it's a dress I don't know what this is it's sheer so you can definitely see through it i'm gonna market it as a cover-up for like swimwear when i first picked it up i thought it was linen because it looks and feels like linen but i honestly think it's just i really think it's just cotton it's 100 percent organic cotton which is great um but all my garnet hill stuff that i purchased in the past has sold within like a month so i'm gonna give it a shot we'll see what happens next is a new brand that i've heard people talk about but i've never found it before 
This is a Sweaty Betty of London, like, pant suit in a large. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it is, like, a pant, like a pant suit. Um, I know for a fact I paid $10 for this because I battled in my mind if I should get it or not. But they were selling decent. It wasn't 100% sale through rate. But I know people like this brand. Um, I know it has a little following. So we'll see what happens. Plus, if anything, it might it might sell my closet till the fall. Um, yeah, but oh, and that's another thing. I do buy all year, all season, all year. So if I go to the thrift store and I find a freaking um, Artrix winter coat right now, I'm going to buy it because I know that will sell in the fall or the winter. Um, same thing with uh, Lululemon sweatshirts or... Or Athleta, if it's a substantial Athleta piece. Um, even though Athleta, I'm probably never going to buy it again. It's just, it doesn't sell for me. I don't know how to move it. But anyway, but I do buy all year, all the time. Um, because anything that I don't sell, or if I see it, ha if I get it home and it has like a like a rip or a tear or something, um, put, I don't, not put it as closet, but Uptown Cheapskate takes all year, all the time as well. I just sold a bunch of stuff to them and I sold a bunch of coats and stuff and it's like, may but anyway here we go um okay so this brand is not new to me i see the commercials on tv all the time but i hear people talk about it and i just did i bought a bunch of it before and i just did my um comps and it's not selling as well as what people are saying it is but i'm giving this a shot because it's new with tags but this is figs technical collection extra small women's scrub pants but it's new at tags so i'm giving it a shot um i just listed a bunch of scrub tops from them and men's and women's and um the sell through rate to me just wasn't there so um, if they sell we'll see what happens but i may start not picking this up and even though i just literally started picking it up in the past couple weeks okay this is a brand that every, a lot of people pick up. I stopped picking it up and, I, and I'm and i starting again, but only in certain pieces and it's the dresses that I pick up. Um, so it's Lauren Malfloren. This is a, I think it says 16. I can't tell if it says 16 or 15, but it's a really pretty, almost floral midi dress, um, sleeveless. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. I I think the colors are gonna pick up well when I take the photos. Um, but yeah, the, uh, it's a brand that sometimes it sells really well for me, and then sometimes I can't move it. So I've really started doing my comps whenever I find something to see what is it this particular size is selling. Um, but when I get stuff this cheap, like I think I paid less than ten dollars for these. There's another one. Um, I'll just pick it up anyway, because even if I sell it for $25, to me, that's a profit. Here's another one, Lauren Mufflerin, um, in a 14, 14, yes, like a, like a faux wrap style. I thought this was perfect for spring, perfect for summer weddings as a wedding guest or rehearsal dinner. Um, I was hoping to get it on for graduation season, like where I work, we just had graduation this week. Um, that's not going to work, but it's perfect for a little luau beach, beach parties, things like that. Even though it's not that style, like that print, it still look, would be perfect for that. It, it's kind of heavy. It has some, it's substantial. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, here is a brand that is hit or miss for me. And there's so many people that talk about it and love it. It's Miss Eileen Fisher. This is a small, um, but it's a, I guess you call this crinkle? like a crinkle button up three quarter length sleeve I believe it's three quarter length sleeve I don't know I'm a guy Mars. Well. I don't know anyway but I think I got it because it's silk let's see yeah it's 100 percent silk I have a hundred percent silk like cardigan not cardigan but it's like an open front thing now in my closet and it's not moving nobody wants it um but we're gonna give this a shot because this is an actual button up and it's got that crinkle like crinkle look to it, which I really, I think is really pretty. Um, but typically her stuff does move for me. Um, this is a brand that's controversial. Um, I buy it when it's a bigger size and there is, luckily I live by a flea market and they always, there's this guy that just gets piles of clothing, piles and piles. I don't know where he gets it from and I don't care where he gets it from, but he sells three pieces for a dollar 
or 50 cents each and a lot of times i'll have like five pieces and he'll just say give me a dollar so i'm paying so cheap for it this is not from there but i do get a lot of this brand there this is da 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 torrid but this is a size six so in torrid world i think that's like what a six x but i thought this was perfect for a festival season, for summer, for going to summer concerts, going to outdoor venues. It's so pretty and I really hope the colors pick up when I do the photos. But it is a six, adjustable straps, smocked back. I thought it was pretty. If I was a girl, this would probably be my style. Um, but yeah, let's see what else. Still in the girl stuff. All right, this is a brand that sells well in shirts, but I've never found it in pants. And I didn't, I honestly didn't comp it when I was at the store. I just saw the brand and picked it up. But this is um, standard James Purse in a 29. And I honestly, I believe it is women's because the zipper is really short. And I couldn't tell if it was women or men's, but now I'm looking at it as women. But it's like a, either, I don't know if it's a straight cut or a slight boot cut, just like black khaki material. It's not, they're not jeans. But I love that it has the contrasting uh, seams against the black. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe it's a dud, we'll see what happens. But that kind of brand, I feel like if I can't sell it, I feel like that brand would be purchased by Uptown Cheapskate. This is another brand that people either hate or love. I like it, it always sells for me. It may not sell for a lot, but it always sells for me. So I just try to be careful on how much I pay for it. Um, this is, da da da. Miss me, miss me. Um, these are the Signature Rise Boot in a 30. And the reason I did get them is because they're boot. And I know boot right now is like the thing, um, even though I love boot and always will love boot cut. Um, so I just found a pair of their Bermuda shorts and I paid 50 cents for them at the flea market down the street. But one of these was missing and it's they still sold for $25. So if I could get $25 for a pair of Bermuda shorts, I'm hoping to get like maybe 40 for these. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Um this is NYJ or DJ, not your daughter's jeans. Um this is the Maryland Straight in a 14. Um I have always stayed away from this brand because when I've comped it in the past it doesn't sell. But this particular cut sells decently. And I actually think I have another pair somewhere in this room um, in the same cut in a different size. I think it's a 12. Um, let's move on to the men's. I can't believe I found these sitting there. Like, there are so many resellers that go to the Second Avenue. It's crazy. Sometimes I feel like there's more resellers in there than just general public. Um, and they, like, attack the when they're bringing out the new racks so this particular store brings out new racks all day i think until like late afternoon um even on days when everything is 50 percent off they still continuously just bring it and bring it and i love it um but this is nike acg in a medium just men's shorts i know this brand does well i have found stuff in this brand before and it has done well for me the only thing with these are it's a little older you can tell um this is starting to come off but I think loyal followers don't aren't gonna mind that. I mean, the rest of them are in really good condition. Um, they are like a cargo short. So yeah, we'll see what happens. The next is one of my favorite brands to sell in men's. Um, men sells better than women's, but it's mm, Lululemon. And I love that they're this plaid look. And I know plaid is in. So, well, at least from my research. But, and I still have the pull tag. There are 34. Um, yeah, I love them. Here's the little Lulu on the back. Um, I saw these and I love that it has this really cool, like comic book look to the inside. I thought that was really cool. Um, I really wish they were my size, but they're not sadly, or my partners. So to the sales, they will go. Now this store is weird. They have that, the glass case and they put all like the high end stuff behind there and you have to ask for it, and it's a whole process and I hate it. So I was really surprised to find this out on the sales floor. I don't know if it's real and I don't know how to tell, but we're going to see what happens. This is Mr. Christian Dior in a, I don't know if you can see it, in a medium, just a red two pocket, now, button down, 
Did, oh no, this is a button up. Does everyone know what a button up versus button down? It took me forever to find out. Button up is just a shirt that buttons. A button down is when this buttons down. And I hate that they don't have both options on all of the reselling sites. But anyway, um, it feels real. It feels legit. I don't know if it's real. Um, I have found high-end brands in this store before. Um, I don't know how to tell if it's real or not. It says it's made in Hong Kong. Is that where Christian Dior is made? I don't know. We'll figure it out. If anything, if it doesn't sell for me on eBay, Poshmark, or Mercari, I'll send it off to the real real. I know a lot of people have issues with the real real. I send stuff there all the time. It sells. I make some money. Whatever. Um... This is a brand that is either always hit or miss for me, but this particular cut in this brand sells well. So this is Vineyard Vines in the Slim Fit Tucker shirt, but it's an extra, extra large, which I love bigger sizes. And it's a really, really pretty shirt. It's like blue with pink plaid. Um, it's just a $25 sale, which is great, right? Um, here's another brand that I know a lot of people are stopping stopping to buy, but I still buy it because it sells. And it might not sell for a lot, $20, $25, but if I'm paying $3 for it, I don't care. Um, this is on Tucket, and it's a medium, little short sleeve, Henley. I really wish it was my size, but it's okay. Um, I don't know. I saw it. I've never sold a Henley from them. I've always just found the button up, which I actually have one that I just steamed that I need to list. Sorry, my phone is ringing. I am technically at work, but yeah, whatever. Cool, right? So, um, this is another brand that I have been finding a lot recently, and I never, I it's like within the past year I've been finding it, uh, and it always sells for me, like quick. But it's Free Fly, and this is a men's just extra large polo and like a jersey style, a little pocket. It's really cool, and it, the condition is really good. Um, one thing about this store I do hate is sometimes. A lot of times, actually, they'll put the price tag. I don't know if you guys can see it. See it right there? Right on the freaking collars. And it puts a hole in it. So we'll see if all this stuff sells. Because quite a bit of this had the freaking price tags in the collar. And it pissed me off. But anyway, here we go with Polo Ralph Lauren again. This is just a pair of cargo shorts. Um, this size was selling well, though. This is a this is a big, big size. We've got a 48B. Um, yeah, they're in good condition, good size. So we'll see. Oh, did I show you guys? Yeah. Polar Ralph Lauren. Um, here's another Polar Ralph Lauren. I seem to find a lot of this this day. These are really cute. These are just some green, like, chino, chino shorts. I love the button there, and I love this little pocket. Um, and on the back, look at this detail. I don't know if you guys can see that detail in that metal but that's really cool and then on this side i have there's the little there's a little dog but yeah they are polo ralph lauren and they are a size 32. so again i wish they were my size but of course they're not it's so hard for me to find so i wear like a small extra small shirt and like a 29 pants and it's so hard to find them sizes but that's good because i'm not spending money on myself this is a brand that I don't always pick up, but I did comp these in the store and they were actually selling really well. But this is a pair of just black Nike Air Jordan, just like sweat shorts. They look cut off, but there is a, there is a seam there. Um, but they're just jo Jordan and they're a large, um, I can't, I wish they were my size. I would wear them. So this would fit that street wear streetwear vibe i guess i don't know i'm old i feel old do i i don't know anything about their streetwear i don't wear it i wear the same stuff all the time um last piece is i was surprised that this was selling so well and it has a little stain so i'm gonna try to get it out but this is a hoodie from fallout boy i don't know if you can see that so it's like a it's like a purple color um it's got the little pocket it does have a stain at the top here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna try to get that out. Um, yeah, but it's Fallout Boy and an extra large. And it says Fallout Boy underneath it. Looks like it's, it looks like it says Man Head. I don't know. I just searched Fallout Boy Young and Menace hoodie and it had a 100% sale through rate. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, so that's, oh, 
I guess I'll show you this toe. And I did get my partner, my boyfriend, <laughs> a pair of shorts because that's what he likes to wear all the time. Because both of us just like to be comfy all the time. Anyway, um, I hope you guys like this. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you would have bought or wouldn't have bought. Um, but just don't berate me. I hate when people are so mean. And don't be mean to each other. Um, yeah, I just think like we should be a good community and we should be there for each other. Um, but I do want to close this out with um, don't I am finds by Bobby. I'm um, finds by Bobby on Poshmark, Macari, and eBay. And always remember, um, if something check the shipping. I charge you shipping. So if you're on uh, eBay and it's gonna cost you ten dollars to ship it. Go over to my Poshmark because you know that shipping's only going to be seven something. Keep that in mind. I don't hear a lot of resellers talking about that, but I will definitely push that to help you as the buyer. Anyway, um, have a good Memorial Day weekend and I will see you guys in the next one.